So we are here in, in Utrecht at the Central Station uh, and the location of Seeds to Meet yep. uh, at the Permanent uh, Future Lab. Here is uh, Jurgen de Vries, uh, the founder or co-founder of the Permanent Future Lab. So what is it? Because we see lots of yeah. cool stuff around us. Good question. Well, you, you say the uh, founder, but uh, I, I said initiator because founder sounds more for an old economy uh, for, for me, that you're a founder or a CEO of something. Uh, but as initiator, um, yeah, I initiated with some other people the, the Permanent Future Lab. And it's a place uh, in the sharing economy where people share the evidence of uh, the technologi technologies, uh, innovations. Um, for example, you can find a Google Glass uh, over here or a 3D printer. And um, yeah, that's the place in, in general. Okay, and, and, and uh, how did you come up with the idea with the, your co-initiators? Uh, and, and, and how did you end up over here at Seeds Meet in Utrecht? Yeah, um, well, it, it, it actually happens here in Seeds Meet Utrecht. Um, uh, Seeds Meet shared the evidence uh, uh, co-working spaces. So normally it was an empty space uh, around the, uh, yeah, the rooms that they, they rent. Um, and uh, um, yeah, the, the co-working space are available for people like me and students and freelancers and other co-workers and yeah I really love that idea and um, I had the Google Glass and uh, someone, uh, Niels Schudderboom, asked me may I try your Google Glass? I say well of course uh, I love sharing so feel free to, to try it and uh, yeah, he made a selfie uh, with uh, him uh, in the Google Glass and share it on Facebook. And that brings a lot uh, to me. So I thought, hmm, what a great serendipity uh, happened with sharing uh, my technology. What about going to doing this uh, more? And, uh, um, uh, and also for other people to the possibility to share the evidence of their technologies. Um, so that was the, the idea about uh, Permanent Future Lab. Um, and yeah, we started uh, started here one year ago uh, with something like six six technologies by me and some uh, other few people, um, and we shared the idea at a at a wiki on a later moment. Um, yeah, and things happen. Uh, now there are more than fifty technologies uh, shared over here. Yep. Okay, so so by sharing your idea, uh, your uh, idea came into practice, yep. and uh, also over here in in, in Seeds to Meet, mm -hmm. and and then because uh, of course you can bring lots of shared technologies to one place, uh, but that's not the thing you're doing over here. So people can also try it. So 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 what's happening with all the technologies over here in the uh, in, in in the in Future Lab? Yeah, a lot. Um uh, most uh, elderly people uh, think they may not touch it or they are not in for playing. Um, but they yeah, just look around, uh, some angry or scared from what is this and what is that, I'm leaving. Um, and sometimes they say, well, the, a 3D printer may be uh, something for your next job. Um, and um, uh, when uh, children are walking in over here, because it's open for everyone, so everyone is able to, to join, they don't look angry or they, they jump into the, uh, the stuff and are going to try out things. So for some people, it's just see how things are, and for uh, others, it's uh, trying uh, things out. And luckily, there are more and more elderly people say, hey, we want to try it out. Um, so there are yeah, more and more people in here that discover how the things work, uh, what they can do for them in the future, um, how they can work with it in the future. And what I most love uh, with, with the things that can happen here is that people are going to combine things. Uh, we prefer open hardware, so the more hardware, uh, open hardware uh, is shared in the Permanent Future Lab, the more possibilities of combining the hardware with other things. For example, we have a Wi-Fi uh, light uh, here in the Pyramid Future Lab uh, and an EEG brain scanner. And uh, one day there was uh, a man say, hey, I'm a coder and I like to try to combine those things. 
uh, let's put on the EEG scanner, code some software for it, and let's see if I can uh, dim the light if I'm not active, if I'm more sleepy, and uh, brighten the light if I'm more active. So, and he was able to create that code in within two hours. So that was very quick, uh, but also very cool to see that he create a new uh, combination of, of the, the hardware. Yep. Yeah, but then, <coughs> uh, but then also, also new things are created, but, but uh, this is still a, a physical location. Yep. Uh, so people, uh, uh, talking about serendipity, people come in and they see, okay, this is cool. And they respond in different ways of what's happening uh, from, okay, I, know, I don't want to have anything to do with it till, okay, come on, let's play. Mm -hmm. And also uh, le uh, let's create. But at what way are you also sharing these experiences and also these, these lessons uh, to a much broader audience? Yeah, of course. Um, that, that's uh, the thing we, we ask in return to the visitors, uh, that they're also sharing what they uh, find out in the Permanent Future Lab. So, for example, uh, I just talked about the, the men that, that create the code for uh, the EEG uh, scanner and the Wi-Fi, and we ask him, uh, please, put it back on the communities for open source software so that the broader audience is able to, to see it. Um, and we ask everyone to, to share that on their own way. So we don't say, hey, you must put it on video or on Twitter or whatever. Uh, just do it your the way you like it. So if you're going to a uh, birthday and you see some people over there and you say, hey, I had this coffee to the printer at the Permanent Future Lab in Seeds to Meet, just tell them how exciting you, uh, you was to, to see and, and try that and what you discovered over there. Um, and that's not visible for me, uh, but if that is the way uh, to share for uh, that person, that, that's just fine. So someone is sharing that way and others are sharing more on online on the, on the platforms like Twitter, Facebook, uh, other social media. Yeah. Um, and uh, then we ask to, to use a hashtag uh, not to mention, but, but to use a hashtag, uh, PFLab, so that uh, yeah, it can be found decentralized uh, over the multiple platforms, what, what is happening in the, in the movement. Um, we also have a wiki, so if people want to share the knowledge they, fi they find out about uh, the hardware, they are able to go to the wiki uh, of, of the hardware, see if there are communities. Uh, and see what are the mentions of the hardware and the hashtags, so they are uh, able to share the best way for yeah. Okay, and, and you're now uh, uh, online and offline mm -hmm. uh, for a year? Yep. And uh, so uh, what happened during the first year? I said, okay, we're now having much more new cool technologies uh, uh, in this place. Uh, we're sharing our story by, by using uh, the, the enthusiastic responses of, uh, uh, of our visitors. Um, I, I also heard some stories about new locations. Uh, so, so yep. what are your main main achievements uh, for you personally uh, the last year? Yeah, that, that happened a lot. Um, uh, one of the first things that happened is that that uh, a freelance photographer said, "Hey, uh, what a cool idea!" It was not opened yet, but he said, "I want to blog about uh, uh, the Permit Future Lab movement." So, wow, cool, thanks. Uh, I have uh, a camera. Uh, I will pick it up in the screen, if possible. Yes, the wire is for the viewers. Okay, so uh, w what's that? Well, um, this is a 360 uh, photo camera. So people are able to, to make a photo like in Google Street View, all the way, uh, up, down, all, uh, all sides, uh, with just one click or even a, a video uh, moment. Uh, and the cool things that happened uh, in, the, in this permanent feature before we started, I already had this camera. Um, and uh, a freelancer said to me, hey, what a cool idea. I want to blog about that. Uh, and I say, yeah, I, I don't have money to, to work by abundance. I hope you have some time that way. Um, and he said, yes, I will do that. I say, mm, maybe I can do something already uh, back for you. Um, I have a 360 camera. What if you are going to discover this camera in the permanent future lab? You say, oh, uh, cool, I'm a photographer too. I want to, to try it. Uh, and he started with that. And now one year later, he had his own uh, crowdfunding campaign about 360 pictures on postcards. 
uh, and that's very cool that it's because this is not an incubator but it's also acting a way like that uh, for some people um, well that was w one of the things um, just after a few months that uh, uh, the permit future lab was opened uh, some uh, uh, guys from ukraine uh, visited permit future lab and say hey how did you hear about this they say well, we found out about uh, the Permit Future Lab uh, at Facebook and um, we, we wanted to visit something in the Netherlands and let's see where there <laughs> is. And they said, wow, this is cool because we are doing virtual reality. Let's go to that space with our virtual reality uh, stuff and uh, share things over there and discover things over there. So that's very cool that such things can happen just after a few months. Um, and 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 and, and uh, there's also a, a a second location or uh, yeah. uh, I heard something um, on Twitter about that. There were a lot of uh, people and organizations that asked me, "Hey, can we open such a permanent future lab too?" I say, "Yes, of course, because the uh, the concept is open. You can read it on the on the wiki and discover over there how it works." Uh, most people didn't work from intrinsic motivation but more like uh, uh, old oak economy way they said please then don't start it it's not your thing mm. um, but there was one uh, guy to say uh, hey wow that's very interesting he came over to here discover it and say i want to this to this to do this in the hague uh, i said well that, that sounds very cool you have to find a location maybe already no one uh, and uh, I was also in a conversation with uh, the Museum of Communications and uh, they say, okay, we have space for, for this. So I connected them together and a few months ago, the, the second location opened it. Yep. Cool, cool. So, so, so you're using abundance in the most broad way of the word yep. uh, uh, to, to, to uh, connect people to new technologies and also to get to each other. And then not only that they really can understand what it is, but also that they are uh, going to work with it and create new stuff. Yep. And, 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 and what drives you? Because you're now uh, 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 busy with this uh, for over a year. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you can do this for maybe 10 more years, but, but, but uh, what is your personal goal by doing this? Yeah, my personal goal. Um, I'm 36 now and when I was six, uh, my dad shared his computer with me. And, uh, I really love that, uh, the, that kind of technologies and what uh, is able to do it within the future. I always was thinking like a visionary, hmm, I want to do this, let's try a prototype or something like that um, and want to discover it. So my personal goal is to have access to all those new technologies uh, um, which make it very great playground for me to, to discover all those things and uh, to create new things with it and combinations with it. Yeah. And uh, beside of that, I'm also wondering wha what um, can make this happen in other countries, other cultures like Tokyo, where there are a lot of uh, gadgets and technologies or in San Francisco, uh, what it will happen with the culture over there with all the, the startups and, and yeah technology places so uh, uh, that's one of my personal goals to to have a permanent future lab over there and see what it can uh, bring over there in that kind of cultures okay and now a really boring old economy question but i think mm -hmm. uh, a question that many people have uh, so what's your business model yeah so how do you because in the end of course you're creating loads of value Mm -hmm. But in the end, I guess you also have a house or of an apartment, so you also need to eat. Yep. Uh, of course, there's abundance of everything, mm -hmm. but in the end, you also need some money to, to yeah. pay your, your daily costs. So how yeah, do you do that? Um, well, it's, it's a very good question because most people ask this question when they walked in, the, in this uh, Permanent Future Lab movement. But the Permanent Future Lab isn't, isn't an entity. It's not mine. It's uh, not an organization registered in the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it's more like a fan club or uh, it's, it's just there. Um, well, I can uh, put my 3D printer, for example, uh, that's one of the things I'm sharing here, uh, at my home. And it uh, will be staying off for the most of the, the time. I think it will be used once or twice in a month. Um, so, yeah, that will give me almost nothing except that I have uh, access to that 3D printer. Or I can put it here. Um, and also have access to the 3D printer. 
Um, and yeah, it, uh, I didn't expect that, but it brings me more than uh, putting that at home. For example, um, uh, someone said me, hey, you have the, the filament for the 3D printer. Uh, what if people are using that? It will be empty and you have to pay more for the filament. Um, but something else happened it, because uh, people who are starting printing with it bring their own filament and there is now more filament than, was, than I had before. So, um, yeah, that, that brings me uh, more than I had at this moment. Uh, other good things is that other sharing initiatives are more sharing more with me than regular for people living in the old economy. Uh, but you are right that uh, I still need money. Uh, maybe not if, if I had less expectations of, of life, but in, in the way I live, I'm living, I, I still need uh, money indeed. Um, and uh, the cool thing about the Permanent Future Lab is that people are seeing you. It's kind of a stage. It's not the primary goal. Uh, never should be that goal. Um, but people say, hey, wow, you're in. you know a lot of about Google Glass or uh, know a lot about 3D, 3D, 3D printing. Um, and can we hire you for a consultancy or workshops or things like that? I say, oh, that's, that's cool. Let's do that in the old economy. I can be hired for that. And if it's new economy, sharing economy, for example, uh, seats to meet, I say, I don't want the money. I, I'm going to share my knowledge at your, for example, Monday uh, uh, meetup mm -hmm. events. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so so you're also using uh, not not for, uh, with your main reason, but in the end, uh, as a side effect, uh, the the lab to to to, to learn, but mm -hmm. also to prove uh, to to prove for yourself as an expert, and then in the end, you're going uh, yeah you're making money by renting out yourself the, uh, at the old economy way uh, for money, and that way you can pay uh, your costs. Yep. I think it's 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 a really fair combination. Yeah, it's a fair combination, but. Yeah, as I said, it should never be the uh, the primary uh, thing. Uh, but yeah, just work from intrinsic motivation on the things you like, and uh, if you work with innovations, yeah, p people love to see that and uh, to do t things with that. And so are there more people walking in over here do do their own things and uh, are able to act in the old economy and in the new economy to make a change to to a new economy. Uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. But, I, but I think it's, al it's, it's also good for yourself uh, to reflect because in the end I see too many uh, people who are really uh, 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 far ahead on, 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 on today, mm -hmm. but they really having problems with making the link, the connection, because they're, because they're never acting in the old economy. Yep. And I think also uh, by acting, by giving uh, uh, advisory or maybe uh, keynotes in, in with old economy organizations, that really is also for yourself, for your mind is really important because then you also see what's happening over there. And in, in the end, that will make you a better uh, person to make the connection between the old and the new. Yeah, true. And um, also one of the, r the reasons to work with the new technology, I, in my opinion, the, the, the new technology make the evidence possible. Um, uh, for example, without a smartphone, we won't have uh, Uber. Um, because you are not going to check at your desktop computer, hey, where are the cars? You, you, you want a car when you're going out and, oh, I'm drunk, I want, want a car now, and you, you use your, your mobile phone. And the drivers are able to share where they are by the mobile phone. Um, so that's cool. But the 3D printing, for example, is, uh, is, uh, can build a, a house um, for around $5,000. Uh, well, that sounds very uh, disruptive, but also something that makes something possible to work by evidence for spaces, for houses. Um, so it's very uh, important for me to uh, learn the new technologies because they make a new economy. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and talking about t technology, because many innovations uh, that you see around, also, also over here, they're really uh, technical innovations. Mm -hmm. But I also see it, uh, also especially also in San Francisco, that uh, uh, in the end, uh, technology has to facilitate human beings, yep. and, not the other, and, and not the other way around. Sure. And I think many discussions, especially when you're talking about technology and innovation, are, uh, are the wrong way around. So uh, what's your 
uh, vision on that about okay how can we because in the end also uh, the, the the example of of, of the brain scanner that controls mm -hmm. the lights then the the, 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 the technology is is uh, uh, in servant for uh, uh, for you as a human being mm -hmm. uh, and what way do you think that uh, that companies can can put more the human being uh, up front instead of the technology uh, and the new developments um because it's really cool that yeah. everything is possible, but in the end we never ask, okay, but is, is it a good thing? Yeah, and um, I think most, almost every technology has some good and, and bad things uh, uh, in it. For example, I can print a, a weapon with a 3D printer and shoot someone. Um, that, that is possible, or I can break the light and put it on your head. <laughs> you're you're a duet. <laughs> on <laughs> camera, come yeah. on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I'm always looking more for the positive things in uh, in technology. Uh, and a, a lot of people now talked about robots and uh, artificial intelligence, that it will yeah, do something with human and that the robots will, will win. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, that is possible. Uh, but I'm looking to more on the things on the positive sides. For, then how, how how can we use those things for humanity? And we have uh, uh, oh yeah, the, the robot is over there at Periscope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that robot is able to to drive you around with a video camera. Um, and we have someone here with a wheelchair in the uh, seats to meet community, and they say, "Hey, can I uh, have this robot at a con conference?" Uh, where I'm not able to visit it by transit because the transit that way is very hard for uh, for him f as a wheelchair uh, to go over there. And I say, oh, please take the the robot over there. Uh, 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 Ronald, I love to to share that robot uh, for for you over there so that you are able to to visit it. And uh, yeah, he was able to drive from his home uh, uh, with a camera around in this conference, and he say, wow. That is so cool. I wasn't able to sleep the, n the night after <laughs> the conference, and I was thinking, what can I do with with a robot? Uh, I'm able to to go to the UEV, uh, what's it in the, in Dutch? It's a UEV, uh, where um, unemployed people uh, yeah, unemployed uh, people have to go are to coming uh, say, losing their job. Um, well, I don't have a job over here because most uh, companies don't have the facilities to, for me to drive around. What if you put uh, a, such a robot like this in those companies and that I'm going uh, just sitting at home or some location where I have internet and a webcam uh, and drive around in those companies and do my thing in these companies. So, wow, that's a very good <laughs> idea. And uh, that is the positive way of, of looking, for example, uh, by robots. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so, so that, that this also really helps people in their thinking process. And yep. in the end, uh, the, the challenge is to really to keep the human up front and not the, tec and not the, 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 the technology. Yeah, and um, that's also cool about places like this, uh, that, that people are able to get together uh, discovering the, the technologies and to discuss with each other and um, we always say permanent future lab should be for everyone so you don't get a tunnel vision uh, if you're only with some group of students or an organization uh, no make it broader so that you are able to discuss with someone with a totally different background and that gives you insights uh, about the the technology yeah uh, yeah cool and 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 if you could make one wish of one technology stuff that you really want to have here, Wh what uh, what would it be? Oh, what would it be? One <laughs> very hard <laughs> question. <laughs> I, I think your wish list is 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 is, is, is big. Is um, yeah, there's a lot of in, in the wish list on the wiki, but uh, uh, one of the things uh, I I really want to see is uh, a platform for virtual reality where you can walk on, and that you're still st still standing at the same position, but by walking. Uh, it's not just on the <laughs> camera, but by, by walking, um, you are able to to move around in the virtual world. world. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's uh, maybe one of our viewers can help you with, yeah, uh, who knows. with that. <laughs> hey, thank you for the interview. Yeah, thank you. Uh, too. It was a great story, and uh, good luck uh, with with all the uh, the stuff you're doing over here. Thanks.